Well, News 4 is your local election headquarters, and last night was a big win for the Thunder. Yesterday, voters in Oklahoma City hit the polls for a new arena proposal. With more than 70 percent of voters voting in favor, the new arena has unofficially passed. The new facility will cost at least $900 million, with the vast majority coming from MAPS for money in a continuation of a one-cent sales tax that would go into effect when the current MAPS for tax expires. News 4's Tanner DeLeon has more. Anything that we can do to maintain that energy and to just keep things moving forward to me is a win. The excitement level is rising for those wanting a new arena, remembering what it was like decades ago before the city began to flourish. I do remember what Oklahoma City was like back in the days, back in the late 80s, early 90s. And not that it was bad, it was a great place to live, but it has become so much more. But others are still not happy. I mean, it is objectively the worst arena deal in the United States. Um, we are now on the hook for a billion dollar arena um, while the Thunder ownership control all the major revenue streams. They get to benefit from it and they put in 5%. Um, I just think Oklahoma City got a bad deal. Saying money will be a big issue. Uh, we're going to pay for it and people are going to realize months from now how much it's really going to cost. Adding that using the Thunder as a fallout piece wasn't right. Uh, no, the Thunder were never leaving. Um, you know, unfortunately the Yes campaign decided to run a completely fear-based, you know, playing on Oklahoma City's insecurities. Nevertheless, a new arena looks to be on the horizon. So it's time. So, uh, you know, let's keep things moving forward. Let's, you know, take the city as far as we can and make it be the best place to live. Well, last night, Thunder Chairman Clay Bennett sent out a statement saying, in part, we are deeply grateful for the confidence and pride our citizens have expressed in the future of our city. Once the election results are certified, the Thunder are expected to sign a commitment to play in Oklahoma City until 2050. And the NBA is excited about staying in Oklahoma City. Commissioner Adam Silver sent out sent out a statement following the vote that reads, a signature of the Oklahoma City Thunder beyond the team's success on the floor has been their deep connection to their fans and their community. This vote for a new arena is another example of that bond.